I built a all one AI data scientist and it came in 28th position in the Spaceship Titanic Challenge in Kaggle. That is in top 1% out of 2,300 entries. It is actually currently running and we'll talk a bit about it, but I open sourced it. So link is in the description. You can just try it out yourself. I call it the all one data scientist or uh, ML scientist. Yeah, and I also have a video on my 1000X course on how I built it step-by-step uh, step, if you're interested. So as you can see, it uh, we use all one to actually generate machine learning solutions, as you can see. And, and then we save the progress reports with different types of accuracies, whatever the O1 thought was necessary. And then we also create a submissions.csv, which we can then submit to the competition. For example, let's go ahead and submit one of these real quick. Uh, let's take a look. This is new. Uh, let's submit the latest. I haven't actually submitted it. Okay, we just click on submit prediction. We find the file. And then we submit, uh, submit it. Let's see the score. So I have a few submitted. So this this achieved uh, 0 0.80, 80%, something like that. But it's actually less than my best one, which achieved 29th. But it's a, a, a 805. Let's go ahead to the leaderboard and actually expand this and see where it would have landed. So 805 would have landed approximately about here somewhere. So it would have been in the top. 250. So that would have been 10%. 10 so it actually does pretty good. Uh, and let's actually, maybe I'll try to explain it rather than going over the code because you can actually get it. Uh, but I, I guess uh, it has four part. It has four parts to it. They're not real, super well organized in the code, but there's a timeout improvement where uh, we allow, we, we only allow the, uh, machine learning solution to run for so long, in this case, 30 minutes. If it times out, then we send that back to O1, hoping that it'll optimize it better for runtime. And then we have another, uh, we are using Claude to fix any errors if they, if they happen. So you can also choose O1 if you like. And uh, we have a O1 agent that actually writes the code, and then we have another one that actually improves it. I am currently running the full O1. I just got access to it, and our error correcting model is so, latest Sonnet. But you can use O1 Mini. Uh, that being said, let's visualize this. So we have one uh, agent that writes the code that is O1, and then we check, uh, for example, while during the running, we check if there is any error happening, or if we time out, or that our code ran just successfully. If if it gets an error, then we send it to cloud, okay, to fix, and then we repeat this process. If it times out, then we send it to O1 to repeat this process. And if it actually runs just fine, then we save the progress report. This is all configured in the system messages. The machine learning algorithm is written in a way that it saves its progress report, then we send the solution itself plus the progress report back to O1, hoping that it will improve it. Yeah, so this is the general workflow. Uh, and uh, it, it's actually, it's an interesting paradigm. Uh, and it is available on my GitHub. <laughs> Feel free to uh, check it out. Give it a start if you're enjoying it. It's actually doing well so far. Uh, on my GitHub, I also have quite a lot of other projects like AI read books page by page, so research assistant, 10,000 chat prompts. Check those out as well. But like I said, I have my 1000x uh, cursor course in which I explain how to build the data scientist. And you can find the link in the description. And also, when you do become a patron, you get access to 400 fascinating projects, just like this one full source code, detailed explanation. Most importantly, you get access to my 1000X cursor course, uh, which in which I have 30 independent chapters where you learn to build uh, independent apps from scratch. So it's very 
it's really designed for the new AI age where you just look at the chapter, get some inspiration, and you can dive right into cursor. Uh, I have live coding sessions in AMAs with my architect patrons, and I also have one-on-one -on -one consultations. So uh, you can find the link for that in the description. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out the GitHub as well. I hope you found it uh, helpful. Take care.